Hey Casey, Joe again from Austin. I wanted to say congratulations on your new setup. I hope you're happy with it. We're going to enjoy watching you play around with your little micro four thirds camera. It'll be awesome. It will be. <laughs> so since I showed you the video on the EOS RP, I uh, returned that one and I ended up settling on the A6400 um, with the uh, Sigma 16 1.4 lens. And um, I just wanted to kind of tell you about the reason why and kind of show you the setup I ended up with. And uh, I hope that you're able to test this rig out too. The, the EOS RP would have been fine for me. Um, but I just decided that I didn't want to jump into another ecosystem and everything when I was, I'm already so established with Sony. Um, so my criteria was that it had to have the selfie screen. Um, autofocus had to work flawlessly. <laughs> It had to work flawlessly. I wanted to be able to um, have this thing track my face, not to have to push anything on the screen, much less manual focus. And that was just a, anything other than that would have been a deal breaker for me. It had to have good audio. Um, now I've just got the little Rode uh, video uh, mic on this, so it's not super fancy audio, but if I were to plug a uh, lab mic into this, there wouldn't be any feedback or hiss or noise or anything. And I think I mentioned before, I found that to be the case with the Canon, like the Canon M50. And I've heard other nightmare stories about internal audio uh, being problematic on some cameras. I don't want to deal with external audio. I just want simplicity. So this worked out great. Um, and it had to be able to achieve a shallow depth of field. You know, this isn't full frame, of course, but this um, 16 millimeter 1.4 equals 24 millimeters f 2.1. This right here is plenty of uh, separation from me, so I like this effect. And it had to have um, IBIS. It had to have internal um, image stabilization. Oh, Sony, why'd you do it? So, of course, this camera doesn't, so that's a flaw. Ah, that sucks. But there is a flaw about this setup that isn't a flaw at all. What is the deal with this aperture issue that you and your guru are talking about? Um, as you can see here, you change the aperture, it changes the aperture on the lens, it is totally flawless. So I just wanted to point that out and I wanted um, some of your viewers who are looking for a good vlogging setup just to know that there is no compatibility issue going on here. In fact, I think there's some kind of conspiracy with you and maybe CNN Canada. Mm-hmm. Fake news. Make Canada great again. <laughs> Here's the setup. <laughs> It's my A6400 screen flipped up, Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens, ND filter on the front. Got my Rode uh, uh, video mic. Um, oh, and thank you, Everyday Dad, for the heads up on this little bracket here. That's worked out great. But I am looking forward to the bracket that Small Rig comes out with that uh, hooks out on the top and allows you to put the shotgun mic over here to the side. And Casey, again, thank you for this, this tripod idea here. I really like this one here for this kind of use, much better than Gorillapod, and this extends up higher. As far as my settings go, I have it set on video mode and um, manual in my camera settings. So I manually set my frame rate, 24 frames per second. Therefore, my shutter speed is a 50th f1.4. Um, I have exposure uh, compensation uh, darkened up just slightly. And notice my ISO is over the base ISO of 100. And I do that for reason, oh, see, it just bumped up to 200. I'm floating my ISO and controlling ISO basically with the ND filter. I don't want my ISO to be down at 
a hundred because then if it brightens up in the room or, or my environment, then um, it'll compensate and it'll end up being too bright. So I'll, I'll set that to about 200 and it'll adjust accordingly and it just works out great. And by the way, since it's important to be able to see the ISO right there, I recommend that if anybody's gonna be setting this thing up as a vlogging setup or a tabletop setup like this, take off this eye cup because it fits right down in there and it ends up covering up that little spot there that shows the ISO. So this is the setup that I ended up with for this purpose. You know, I just wanted a tabletop set it and forget it um, tool to deliver these kind of messages. Um, if I'm going out street shooting, I've got a specific camera for that. And uh, if I'm doing portraiture, I've got a camera for that. But this seems to be a real good compromise uh, for this kind of a setup. And also I have to say, I just love this 24 millimeter focal length so much. It sort of brings in these converging lines and creates this dramatic effect, especially when combined with a shallow depth of field. And I'm happy enough with this shallow depth of field. Anyway, don't give up on Sony, KC. Try out this setup. I think that you'd really like it and uh, we'd love to see what you do with it. Thanks for keeping us entertained, brother.